Hey y'all, welcome to Peyton Energetics. I'm Peyton. And today we are talking about personality traits of star seeds who come from the Orion system. So over the past couple of videos, we have been talking about each of the different starseed races and what some of the special skills, abilities, and personality traits are of starseeds that come from each of these different systems. So we have already taken a look at the most common starseed races, which are, of course, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, and the Arcturians. And now we're going to start to take a look at some of those star races that you might not be quite as familiar with. So before we jump into looking at the Orions, what the history is of the Orion system, and what some of the personality traits are in Orion star seeds, let's start from the beginning and just talk for a second about what is a star seed? because I know that this term has gotten a little jumbled, a little confused in the spiritual community lately, and it's gotten very popular, but not everyone knows exactly what it means. So when we are talking about a star seed, what are we talking about? All that means is a star seed is someone whose soul originates from another star system. So what that means is that a star seed is someone who is incarnated on planet Earth right now, but their soul actually originates from another star civilization. And the guides tell us that there are generally six or seven star civilizations or star races that are most closely connected with humanity. So when we talk about someone being a star seed, we are generally talking about someone whose soul originates from one of these six or seven star civilizations. And so some of those star civilizations are, of course, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Arcturians, the Orions, the Lyrans, the Vagans, the Cassiopeians, and the Andromedans. So when we're talking about star seeds, we're usually talking about someone whose soul comes from one of those six or seven systems. So what is a star seed in terms of their purpose and why do we have them? Why are they here on earth right now? Well, the guides tell us that the reason star seeds are coming to earth right now is to help earth through the ascension process. So a star seed is someone who incarnated from a very evolved civilization, something, a civilization that is very far ahead of earth in terms of its evolutionary progress and chose to be born into a human body at this time to bring knowledge and information from their home star system to anchor it into the earth grid. So what a star seed is doing is bringing high dimensional knowledge, information, and vibration from their home star system, wherever that is, and bringing that to the human collective to help earth through the ascension process. So basically, star seeds are here on Earth right now to help Earth through the ascension process. And a lot of them are doing that by anchoring frequency. So when we talk about star seeds, one of the things that we mention most often is that a star seed is here on a mission. And some star seeds know what their mission is, and others are still finding their way to it. But in general, the star seed is here to anchor frequency, to hold a high vibration to help uplift the whole human collective right now. So that's all we are talking about when we talk about the star seed, is someone who is bringing higher dimensional knowledge and information and bringing it to the earth collective to make it available to all of humanity to access. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about the star seed. So today we are gonna to take a look at the Orions who are one of those star races that most of us know a little something about the Orion system, but not a lot of us are that familiar with Orion star seeds. This is not one of the star races that you see very often. They're one of the more unusual star seed races. Uh, unlike the Syrians and Pleiadians who have millions of star seeds on the planet right now, there are far fewer Orions on the planet right now for reasons that we will be getting into. 
So let's start at the beginning and talk a little bit about the Orions themselves and what their role has been in galactic history and then what their role is with Earth right now. Uh, what is their relevance? Um, how are they helping us through the ascension process? Why are we connected with them? So when we talk about the Orion system, we of course are talking about the Orion constellation which is a massive system that takes up much of our night sky for large portions of the year. So when we talk about the Orions, that's what we are talking about. Beings whose soul originated from that star system. So the Orions themselves have a very unique role in galactic history. And so you have probably heard about the Orion Wars or the Orion Empire. So what we are talking about when we talk about the Orion system is what the guides often describe as being the most or one of the most dark, challenging, and polarizing galactic civilizations to ever exist in the Milky Way galaxy. So the Orion system was notorious over hundreds of thousands of years for being just overrun with conflict, polarity, war, and darkness. So it is kind of associated with being the darkest system to ever exist in our galaxy. And the Orion system was dominated, uh, continues to be very heavily under the influence of negatively oriented grays and the ancient reptilians. So again, this was a very challenging, very polarized system um, with just all forms of control, manipulation, suffering, enslavement um, is what we think of when we think of the Orion system. Now, the Orion system did ultimately ascend and integrate and move into the light. So they are no longer involved in that conflict that was such a distinguishing part of the Orion system for so long. But what happened, the guides tell us, when the Orion system integrated and moved into the light, not all of the negatively oriented beings that were dominating that system wanted to move into the light. And so what the guides tell us happened is some of the darkest of the beings, some of the most malevolent, um, actually left the Orion system when they saw the integration happening and went actually to Mars and Maldek um, before the destruction of both of those civilizations. And then from there came on to Earth. So what the guides have told us is why Orion is so relevant to us as we as humans move through our ascension process is that much of the darkness, the malevolence, the corruption that we are dealing with on the planet right now has its origins from these negatively oriented beings in the Orion system who basically fled to escape having to move into the light and actually spread their conflict through Mars, through Maldek, uh, and here to Earth. So a lot of the struggle that we are going through as a planet right now um, is has its origins in the Orion system uh, because we now have inherited some of the most malevolent uh, entities from the Orion system. So our karma is now intertwined with theirs is how the guides have explained it. So that's a little history on the Orion system. Something else that's interesting to note about the Orion system is that it was a very diverse system. So sometimes when we talk about our, these different star races, we tend to have one, one image in our mind when we talk about beings from that system. Um, a lot of times we associate the Pleiadians as being beautiful Nordic type beings or the Arcturians as being small blue beings. Um, so we have certain general traits that we sometimes associate with the different star races, but not really so much with the Orions because this system was so diverse. Every type of being and entity imaginable existed in the Orion system. So we don't have kind of that one image that comes to mind when we think of the Orions. So when we think of the Orions, actually what we think of is diversity. We have everything from humanoids to grays to reptilians to insectoids, 
all coexisting in the Orion system. So when we talk about the Orion humans or the Orion humanoids, what do they look like? You know, how can we kind of, how can we place them in what we are familiar with? And what the guides tell us is that the Orion humans tended to be much larger than we are as Earth humans. So they, they tend to come in maybe more closer to the seven foot mark than most humans do. And the guides also tell us that they have a little more of an alien appearance to them than some of our other star ancestors. So when we look at an Orion being, we may see a being that is largely humanoid, maybe 85% looking more like what we consider to be human in appearance, but then 15% or 20% looking very alien, very non-human. And so that may be 15 to 20% that looks insectoid or reptilian or gray. So that gives the appearance of, to the Orion beings of being a little more alien looking than some of our other star races that look very similar to us actually. So that's one thing you may notice if you do work with Orion beings or if you are, um, you know, have an Orion guide or channel Orion energy, uh, that may be something that you notice is that it's a slightly less human looking being than just some of the other star races. So one other thing that is noticeable oftentimes and is often described about the Orion beings is having very unusual eyes. So if you ever do see an Orion being, notice their eyes. Their eyes are said to be very, very striking and unusual. And this may take the form even of being a very, very bright blue, because this is one thing that some of the highest spiritual leaders and priests in the Orion system had the ability to actually change their eye color to a very vibrant, vivid blue. So striking eyes are kind of the physical characteristic that the Orions are most known for. Now that you know a little bit about the Orion history and uh, what its role was in, in the galaxy, let's talk for a second about star seeds whose soul comes from Orion. You know, what are some of their unique traits and abilities and how do they stand out from other star seed races? One of the things that you may notice about Orion star seeds in particular is that they tend to be extremely confident, extremely intelligent, and extremely practical. So the Orions are known themselves for being very resourceful. They come from a star system that didn't have the abundance of resources that we have here on earth. And so one of the hallmarks of the Orions was being very practical and thrifty and resourceful. And so that's one of the things that may carry over as one of those things that you notice in Orion star seeds themselves, that they have this ability to be creative problem solvers and to use whatever is on hand, uh, because that is a very Orion trait. So some other things that you may notice about Orion star seeds is having a very strong personality. And that personality can tend to border on being a little aggressive, um, a little authoritarian, um, because again, this is something that is very much an Orion feature. The Orions also tend to be very wary of trusting anyone else. So they are not one of the more trusting starseed races. They tend to be very critical and very analytical, and they can come across as being a bit aloof and even aggressive comes up a lot with Orion starseeds or, you know, beings that come from the Orion system. Because again, it was a very, very challenging system and they adapted certain coping mechanisms um, as a means of surviving in this very challenging system. And so the starseeds, of course, who come from the Orion system are gonna have that hardwired into them as well. So there is a tendency for Orion starseeds to be standoffish, um, a bit demanding, uh, not the most patient of our star family, um, but very smart, very, able to adapt to any situation, uh, able to master anything quickly. They are very quick learners, very organized, very methodical. One thing that is really different about Orion starseeds that you don't see in very many starseed races is that they really thrive on structure. 
So they love working within systems of rules, bureaucracies, organizations, anything that is structured and defined is going to be an area that an Orion starseed really thrives. And this is really something that sets Orion starseeds apart from all of the other star races. Most of these star races, and we have talked about this with the Pleiadians especially and the Andromedans, absolutely hate rules. Um, so, so many of our star ancestors hate rules, hate authority, hate anything that restricts their freedom. The Orions come in on the other end of the scale. They thrive in environments like that. So if you are putting an Orion starseed in an environment where there are rules to be followed, processes, procedures, an Orion starseed will thrive and shine. They love that. That is their home base, is to work within a defined structure. Because again, that's where they came from. It's very natural to them. Some of the things now that Orion starseeds are not quite as excellent at, uh, the first and foremost would be, of course, emotion. Um, Orion starseeds are not great with sharing their emotions or with sharing their thoughts and feelings or even taking the thoughts and feelings of others into account. So the Orion starseed is going to be someone who is their own boss. They don't really look around to see what anyone else is doing. They don't really care to be a people pleaser or make everyone happy. They're really on the opposite end of that whole scale. And so it can cause trouble for Orion starseeds in their relationships. Because first of all, first of all, they're not great with their emotions to begin with. And they're not great at taking into account other people's emotions. So what this can mean is that an Orion starseed in relationships can really struggle because they really get into their head and into thinking and logic and analysis, as opposed to tuning into the feeling side of the relationship to what they're feeling, what the other person may be feeling. Those are not necessarily strengths of an Orion starseed. So again, they, they tend to be very organized, very logical, very practical, but not always great with relationships or at ease in any situation that requires flow, creativity, emotion, uh, vulnerability. These are not going to be things that your Orion starseed thrives in. So it's just something to understand about how that Orion starseed may be unique. Um, because again, it all comes from this very unusual system that they came from where they had to learn certain survival skills and how to protect themselves in a very challenging environment. So the Orion starseed will very often come across as being aloof, being guarded, um, and keeping their own counsel. And also along these lines, some other things that you will probably notice about Orion starseeds is they are not big with anything fluffy or frivolous. Um, they are not going to be into drama or gossip or um, anything that is not, you know, very practical and task oriented. So this is not going to be someone who is into small talk um, and making people feel good and um, idle gossip, drama, any of that not going to be what your Orion star seed is all about in any way, shape, or form. So they tend to be very questioning. They can be very inquisitive and just very good at being on message, on task. Um, so your Orion star seed is going to be great with getting the job done under any and all circumstances. That is where the Orions shine, is getting the job done. They are not going to be quitters. They are not going to be whining about how hard things are. They get in there and they get the job done. So Orion star seeds are very action oriented, very practical, and they are very on task. That is what you can most associate with any star seed who traces their lineage to the Orion system. And finally, the last thing that often comes up with Orion star seeds, and again, it traces their roots back to the system they came from, they value freedom above all things. So they are very freedom oriented and are willing to fight for it. 
So your Orion star seeds, unlike some of the other star races that we have talked about, are very well suited to being leaders and to being activists. They are not your star seed to stand in the background or to be afraid to say what they are thinking. So your Orions are there to force change. They are very strong. They don't care what people think about them. And they are going to be very comfortable in the role of activist, system buster, disruptor. Because again, where they see anything encroaching on freedom, that is going to be something that is very important to the Orion starseed. So anyway, I hope that helps you understand the Orions a little better and where their starseeds may be coming from because they're a little different than your average starseed. So I hope you get a chance to actually meet an Orion starseed. There are not a lot of them out there. I have not met many myself. Um, so if you have a chance to meet a starseed from Orion, really savor that because it's a unique opportunity. These are very unique and special people. So anyway, I hope this helps you and I'll see you next time. Bye.